You look nothing like the devil. Oh, really? I suppose I could have gone this way. Ah! But it's so trick or treat. You know them, you love them, you might even worship them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie devils. For this list, we're taking a look at the 10 most memorable fallen angels from films, from the kooky and cavalier to the sinister and downright creepy. <laughs> Number 10, George Spigot, Bedazzled. That's not your name, is it? George Spigot? Come on in. It's one of my many earthly pseudoplumes or nom de now, I thought you were called Lucifer. I know, the bringer of the light it used to be. Sounded a bit puffy to me. The devil's in the details in this 60s British comedy classic, with Peter Cook's delightful turn as the devil, bringing both mischief and wit. In order for people to be really good, they have to make a free choice between good and evil, and choose good. Look, I'm a vital part of his plan. I provide the evil. His version of Satan takes on the role of Genie, granting seven wishes to an unhappy Dudley Moore. Looks a bit complicated. It's the standard contract. Gives you seven wishes in accordance with the mystic rules of life. Of course, being the devil, all those wishes come at a cost. The film's 2000 remake sees Elizabeth Hurley bringing her devilish sex appeal to the role. You, what? You want to talk to me? Is that a problem? You're not attracted to me? Uh, no. <laughs> I think you're hot. Baby, you have no idea. Number nine, Satan, Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. Yes, you are out of luck. Now I've completed my cock, you will suck. On their quest to locate a magical guitar pick that will grant them unparalleled rock abilities, the comedy duo of Jack Black and Kyle Glass must defeat the devil in an epic rock off challenge. Completely unrecognizable as the Dark Lord, Foo Fighters main man Dave Grohl delivers a rock star musical performance complete with horns, fangs, cloven hooves, and of course, a monster drum solo. Number 8, Satan, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Fallen One, I am Satan. I am your god now. For their unconventional take on the Prince of Darkness, the South Park creators give us the softer side of Satan. I don't see why you have to belittle me in front of people like that. Hey, relax, guy. Well, sometimes I think you don't have any respect for me. Hey, come here, guy. Who's my cream puff? I am. Stuck in an emotionally turbulent relationship with Saddam Hussein, the Dark Lord plans to overthrow the Earth on the heels of a U.S.-Canadian war with his lover by his side. However, after being foiled by those meddling kids and the subsequent breakup of the evil power couple, Satan returns to his day job ruling hell. Well, very well then. I will pull all my minions back. I guess I'm destined to live in hell, alone. Number seven, Mr. Frost, Mr. Frost. Do you know that's the second time you've mentioned yourself and God in the same sentence? So, in fact, who are you? I'm the Gaga Man. Boo. Aptly named for his cool, calm, and chilly delivery, Jeff Goldblum's Mr. Frost is a sadistic and enigmatic take on the Antichrist. Frost is not just another patient, Professor. He is the devil himself. Confined to a mental institution after dozens of bodies are found buried on his property, the mysterious character plays a mental game of cat and mouse with his psychiatrist, driving her to the brink of madness. Number six, Daryl Van Horn, The Witches of Eastwick. Daryl Van Horn, 
The devil takes on the role of a lustful seducer in this film based on the 1984 John Updike novel. Who are you? Just your average horny little devil. Under the alias Daryl Van Horn, Jack Nicholson's mysterious stranger swoops into a small town and woos three single ladies. Unbeknownst to them, they are also powerful witches involved in an endgame, where they must eventually use their newly discovered powers to battle pure evil disguised as a man in a suit. I want to ask you something. You're all church-going folk. I really want to ask you something. Do you think God knew what he was doing when he created woman? Huh? No shit. I really want to know. Or do you think it was just another one of his minor mistakes, like tidal waves, earthquakes, floods? Number five, Satan, End of Days. Hey, I like the shirt. Screw you, man. Hey, kid. Nice shirt. Gabriel Byrne plays a determined Satan, hell-bent on finding his future baby mama. Every thousand years on the eve of the millennium, the dark angel comes and takes a body, and then he walks the earth looking for a woman who will bear his child. After possessing the body of a Wall Street banker, he sets out on a mission to locate and impregnate his preordained mistress. Christine, you know who I am. I've come for you. Literally the devil incarnate, this menacing force goes up against none other than action star Arnold Schwarzenegger, who will stop at nothing to prevent the end of the world. I want you to go to hell. Huh. You see, sometimes the problem is hell <laughs> comes to you. Number four, John Milton, Satan, the devil's advocate. I'm the hand of Mona Lisa's skirt. I'm a surprise, Kevin. They don't see me coming. Al Pacino plays the ultimate tough guy as John Milton, owner of a prestigious New York law firm. He also just so happens to be the devil. Stereotype much? Oh, I have so many names. See, call me dad. After recruiting Keanu Reeves to join his firm, the devil goes about his scheme for world domination by planning the birth of a grandchild. Virtue of the devil is in his loins. Despite Pacino's alluring screen presence and offer of a bonus, his colleague is unwilling to take part in this reign of terror. <laughs> Number three, Lucifer, Constantine. What took you so? You know the one soul I would come up here to collect myself. Mm -hmm. Although he doesn't make an appearance until the end of the film, the character of Lucifer definitely steals the show. Played by Peter Stormare, clad in all white, this son of perdition comes calling to collect the one soul he's desired the most, Constantine's. You Stormari plays Lucifer with a casual confidence and wicked calm that almost has you rooting for him in the end. Number two, Darkness, Legend. I am the Lord of Darkness. I require the solace of the shadows and the dark of the night. Sunshine is my destroyer. The ultimate evildoer is a sucker for the ladies in this 80s cult classic. All I wish is for you to sit and talk with me. Tim Curry cuts an imposing figure as the character called Darkness, with his big muscles and even bigger horns. Darkness is somewhat lonely down in hell, and he must kill two unicorns so he can live free. Both his plans and affections are thwarted, however, as he is ultimately destroyed by the movie's hero. Give it to me, boy. Can a guy catch a break? 
before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. If I had cloven hooves and a pointed tail, would you be more convinced? Bubba, name is Hades, Lord of the Dead. Hi, how you doing? Uh, not now, okay? Fellas, this, as some of you might know, is my 10,000th year as Prince of Darkness. Oh, Jesus. The young carpenter from Nazareth? I knew him well. Number one, Lucifer, the prophecy. Are you an angel? I am the first angel, loved once above all others. Perfect love. But like all true love, one day it withered on the vine. Taking the top spot is one of the darker and more disturbing movie portrayals of the devil, which has no shortage of devilish phrases. I can't do this. I can lay you out and fill your mouth with your mother's feces, or we can talk. Interestingly, Viggo Mortensen's Satan lights up the screen with his honest desire to live in peace. That is, despite his creepy veneer. See, he's annoyed by the angel Gabriel's attempts to create a second hell. So he ends up helping the heroes of the film save the day. You see, I'm not here to help you, little bitch, because I love you or because I care for you, but because two hells is one hell too many. And I can't have that. Good old selfish Satan. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite movie devil? For more devilish top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hercules, stop! You can't do this to me! You can't